Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So today's video is going to be a kind of reflection on what I should have been focused on yesterday. Yesterday I spent the video complaining and it's not that I feel guilty for venting because I don't. It's more of recognizing that I needed an attitude adjustment. I needed to shift my perspective a little bit to make life more enjoyable in general. Uh, for example, instead of talking about uh, disappointment in the in what I'm learning in this one class, I could have talked about how great it was to watch a movie on Netflix in French with French subtitles and understanding it. I watched Epic yesterday, and it was a fantastic movie. I hadn't gotten to see it before, but it's now on Netflix. And I decided instead of watching it in English, I would watch it in French. And I put on the French subtitles just to help me understand it, but I didn't really need them. And I noticed, actually noticed some differences uh, between what they were saying and what was said on the screen and understanding it either way and recognizing why those differences mattered, which made me really happy. It gave me a lot more uh, confidence in my French and it made me realize, yeah, I could probably handle going to a French movie at the theater, which is great because I want to see Moana and in France it's called Diana. Um, I can't wait to see that and I think I have the level when I can go in there and understand the story. I think it will be great because I haven't gotten to see that movie and apparently it's amazing. Totally want to see it. I'm so excited. But I could have also talked about how great it was to just have fun with the group because we went to grab lunch together yesterday and that was good. I got to bond with them and I think these are some friendships that are going to last, which is fantastic. And we are all joined together with this love of French, France, French culture, and we're in this group together to learn more, not only about France, about um, language, but about each other and ourselves. So that was really great. I had a great time and there are three cats in this house that love me, and that's fantastic. Ninja does this really cute thing when he'll, when I'll be petting him and then try to get up, but he'll go, no. And because these cats are hot, it scratches me and it kind of hurts, but it means that he wants me to stay petting him, <laughs> and it's adorable. Sushi, while well, he knocks over all of my makeup, not that I use it very much, but still, he knocks all of it over and plays with anything he can find anywhere, like pencils, pens, markers, or whatever. <sighs> He's still adorable, and he slept on my bed while I took a nap, and it was cute. I got to cuddle with him, and that was great. Grundy is so cute. She's the little one that likes to sit right behind my computer, right by the radiator right there, and she loves to just sit there and I'll just talk to her in French because that's the language she understands, and pet her every now and again while I'm doing homework online because we're using this thing called wiki spaces. I've never used it before, seems to be tied to Wikipedia. I don't know. I'm not a technology person, as you can tell by my professional setup for this YouTube thing. I mean, got this four-ish year old laptop, three years old laptop, <laughs> and a uh, light there, <laughs> and a light there. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a pro, guys. I, I even... I'm such a pro, I don't need to edit the videos. Doesn't matter that I don't know how to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
I'll just have a kitty there. Ninja will be on the bed. And Sushi will be honestly messing with someone somewhere. <laughs> they figured out how to fit in between. See this shelf with the towels? This one? Yeah. There's a little space in here where my hand is. And they have figured out how to get in there and stay there. I came home and this set of towels was on the floor and Sushi and Grundy were sharing the space in there. And I'm sitting here like, why? Why? Cats love little enclosed spaces with this one little exit way that they know they can use and they're just surrounded by like, everything else. <laughs> It's so funny. And if I leave, I have these little doors, these side doors in my desk that swing open and there's like a shelf. And they'll just crawl in there. And of course my art supplies is in this left side here. So Sushi has a ball with those. Found all of my Sharpies on the floor once. <laughs> and on this side are all my school supplies and chargers and electronic thing I'm a doohicker so that I can actually plug stuff in. And uh, Sushi loves to play with those too. I have found those on the floor. <laughs> but they're adorable and I love them. And they love to come into my room. Like if I have the door closed while I'm filming, like here, they'll scratch on the door. And it's adorable. <laughs> but yeah, and last but not least, it's not that I shouldn't have been complaining, because I'm allowed to complain, I'm allowed to feel what I feel, but I feel like I should have focused on something else. And that something is very simple. I'm in France. I have this amazing opportunity to be here, taking classes, learning every day, challenging myself every day, and getting better every day. I'm learning so many expressions. Like, I have this little notebook where I will write in French expressions, and I will learn some every day. And I have filled in one, two, three, four, five, and a little bit on the sixth page. I've been here 21 days. Um, I would count at least 50 expressions. <laughs> I mean, if that's not showing that I have learned something every day, I don't know what does. Even if it's only just the French language. And that is what I should have focused on yesterday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different perspective on the happenings. Nothing much happened today. Um, I went to my civilization and expression classes. They were great. Uh, learned some expressions. And we kind of looked over the fall of the Roman Empire through Charlemagne today in civilization, but I've already studied that. And it was interesting. They skipped over the Merovingian don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. But um, we kind of just glossed over how the Clovis dynasty worked. <laughs> it was really funny. He made a brief mention of Pépin le Bref, but he did nothing to mention what exactly he did or anything. He just like, autre roi des Francs, euh, nous avons Pépin le Bref et Charlemagne. And I'm sitting here like, Okay, uh, but there were also like four others, <laughs> you know, and they all had an effect on how the Frank Empire worked. Oh well. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Happy three weeks of vlogging!